Once her joy of discovery settled down, Alice started feeling uncomfortable in the Mouse Kingdom because she looked different. So every time she used to walk on the street, every mouse that she came across would keep looking at her. And in a strange way, how much Alice just wanted to be normal, how much she just wanted to be a mouse so that every mouse won't keep looking at her in a strange way. Every time that they looked at her in such a way, it made her feel like she didn't belong. She wanted just to feel accepted and included. It was heavy on her heart, but she didn't know how. Also, Alice started missing her family members in the ant kingdom, her friends, her food, the climate, and of course, the festivals, especially the New Year celebrations where in the ant kingdom, every ant used to put on red decorations everywhere. So every year, whenever she was in the mouse kingdom, every time when this festival came, yeah, Alice felt so lonely celebrating only with her mother, sister, and brother because in the Ant Kingdom, she used to celebrate with her cousins, her aunt, and uncle. Moreover, in the Mouse Kingdom, nobody would put up the red decorations. Mouse didn't, mice were not aware of this festival. So gradually, Alice lost even the mood to celebrate because there was no red anywhere. It didn't even feel like her festival was there at all. But anyhow, life had to go on. So slowly and slowly, Alice started getting adjusted to the Mouse Kingdom and started making new friends. She kept climbing the mountain and met some really nice friends who helped her out because as she was not proficient yet in the Mouse language, um, most of the time she couldn't understand the instructions about like the technique of climbing the mountain. And her really nice new Mouse friends, they helped her. Like they helped her um, through some difficult passages, although most of the time Alice was just lagging behind. However, one day, with perseverance and hard work, Alice managed to be the first one to reach one of the milestones. And suddenly, as soon as she reached that milestone, some mice started to behave with her in a really aggressive and rude way. One mice shouted at her, You know, we are in the mouse kingdom. The first animal to get to the top of the mountain should be a mouse, should not be an ant. If you want to be the first, then it shouldn't be here. Go back to your kingdom. And another mouse came and endorsed his idea. That mouse started shouting at Alice. Yes, why are you here? Go back to your home. Go back to your home. And they encircled her and they kept pushing forward and pushed her towards a corner. Alice fell down on the ground and started crying, and these mice left. Alice felt really sad and hopeless. She was thinking why they couldn't understand. If I had a home to go back to, why would I have come here at all? Life is already so difficult for me here. I'm spending every day trying to manage with my homesickness, trying to adjust to how things work here. But why these mice, they can't understand my suffering? Why they have to keep making life harder for me? When everything is just so easy for them, they are born here, they know everything. And why, just because they are born here, do they have the right to not allow other animals to live here? Her heart was very heavy. She wanted to tell the other mice about her suffering. She wanted to tell them that she also wanted to be accepted, that she was just craving to fit in. She was hoping for their understanding, but she looked around her. There was no one. There was no one to listen to her. There was no one to lift her up. So she decided to gently lift herself up. She decided that no matter what happens, she would be there for herself even if no one would be there to lift her, she would raise herself up. She wiped her tears and she decided that crying and have, having self-pity isn't going to lead her anywhere. So she decided that with faith and determination, she's going to quickly finish climbing the second mountain 
and then she would be eligible to climb the third. And once she had climbed all the mountains, then she would have become a strong ant. And at that point of time, nobody would ever, ever dare to push her again. So with determination, Alice resumed her climbing. So this time, Alice would like to sing you a song, the New Year celebration song in the national ant language, well, to ease her nostalgia and to lift her mood. Because finally, she understood that the ant kingdom is not outside of her. It's somewhere inside her. Yeah, so that was it. So I hope you enjoyed the song that you felt a little bit the festive, joyful mood about the New Year festival in the End Kingdom. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next part of the story. Bye!